What's up, what's up everybody? Lately I've been getting asked a lot, Bagel, how do I know which runes I should keep and which runes I should sell? What stats am I looking for on all of these different rune sets? And my answer to them is always, oh, we've done that a million times. We did rune crafting videos. We've done it a million times. I explained what stats to look for on the different runes. And then like they look through my videos and they're like, it hasn't been done any time recently. We're looking through the videos and looking and looking page after page after page. Whatever was done was done so long ago and in my mind. It's like no that was done like two weeks ago in reality It's like six months ago a year ago two years ago So today we're going to be doing a rune crafting video. I mean this is also nice because I have a lot of uh, Rune materials on my main. I'm like yeah, I need to craft some of these uh, I think I have like 9,999 not pieces not rune pieces, but like these oh I guess I did some because I already maxed them out, right? Uh, but yeah rune pieces so today we're going to go through and we're going to uh, talk about all the different rune sets and what stats you're going to want on each of the different rune sets. Uh, and we're also going to craft several different sets and we're going to see what we like, what we're going to keep, what we're going to sell. We're going to sell like most of them, right? Uh, but we're going to see what we can keep, we're going to see what we can sell. And we're going to talk about briefly what we want, what stats we want on each of the rune sets. So, oh my god, how many is there? There's 21 different, uh, well 21 here and then we have ancient runes too. Uh, but 21 different rune sets here. Uh, let's get us started with energy. So energy basically is not a great rune set. Uh, between energy, guard, endure, those are like my least favorite rune sets. Some people don't really like focus too much. But energy, guard, endure are my least favorite sets. Because really the only thing that you, you would never want to craft these, right? The only thing you really use these for is if they have very, very uh, stat rich, right? If they either, number one, roll a lot of speed and then use it for a broken set for like your attack bar booster like Bernard or Kabila or Bastet uh, or whatever you're using. Or if you, uh, if they have a lot of stats overall, like for example, if they roll a lot of uh, defense, crit rate, attack, HP, speed, and it's like legendary and it's got innates and all this, they roll high values, they were high base values and you're like, this is not necessarily for one thing or another, it's just like good overall stats and generally those are pretty good for like PvE content for like especially like the uh, Rift Beasts, right? So those are the things that you want to look for in your Rift Beasts, just very high statted in general, but not really too much of like, the thing is like energy you could stick, if it's got good stats you could stick a two set on that, uh, on, on anything for energy for like PvE. Uh, guard, you could use a two set mostly for like if you're gonna do specifically a two set of something like guard, uh, copper and bulldozer, and then you'd want to go for attack. Not sorry, not attack. Copper and bulldozer attack. Uh, the, the stats you're looking for mostly on guard. If you get a guard rune and you're like, okay, it doesn't have. First off, you gotta ask, does it have speed? Can I roll a whole bunch of speed? Like triple roll into speed, or at least double roll into speed plus the base, because double roll into speed plus like a six base could be 18, and then with a, like a purple grind, it could be 21. That's not terrible for like a early mid game player, right? Uh, or like early pl game player, I guess. Um, but if it doesn't roll speed, if you don't have speed on it, basically for a guard wound you'd want defense, crit rate, crit damage, and you do it for a copper bulldozer, right? Uh, so that's that for guard. For swift, basically you are almost always speed chasing for swift, because swift is like for your attack bar booster, for a unit that's going to go first. Again, Bastet, Megan, Bernard, Kabila, you just want a lot of rolls into speed and you're less, you care less about other things if it rolls high stats as far as like um, crit rate, crit damage, and attack, you could put it on like a speed Lucian if it's like a little bit of speed, but also it has like, uh, let me show you guys. Let me see, I, th I don't know where my Lucians are, man. Right. Here's an example of something that would be swift, but like you don't have a crazy amount of speed on it. Like for example, this, it, do it didn't have any speed. It was an attack rune, uh, slot two, and you're like, oh, well, Judging by the other the criteria that I mentioned before, it's like if it doesn't have a lot of speed, you want Swift for a lot of speed, it doesn't have a lot of speed, then we just instantly toss it. However, this one is a decent rune for like a speedy Swift uh, Lucian, like a fast Lucian, right? So there's fast Lucians and there's also slow fat Lucians, uh, two different Lucians, but this is a, an example of, I mean, that it's got a little bit of speed on that rune. But this is an example of something that's got like, that's not anything to write home about. We could actually improve this Lucian. But uh, yeah, we could actually improve this Lucian a lot. But th the point is, the point is like a rune like this, 
where it doesn't have like you're like what do i use this for you could use it for like a fast uh, fast lucian kind of thing now i'm looking at this lucian i'm like we can improve that lucian so much but anyway uh that's an example for a swift uh swift that is just on a little bit of efficiency there uh but it's not anything like super incredibly fast on the runes right uh so then we could take a look at uh, blade runes so what do we want on blade runes generally i mean crit rate right so so you use a two set of blade if you are using a unit that needs to do a lot of damage you need for a lot of crit damage because why would you need crit rate on a unit if you're not trying to crit right so crit rate crit damage from blade obviously go hand in hand same thing for rage you want a lot of crit rate and crit damage for both of these stats uh sorry for both of these sets now for blade you can also go for like you can go for attack crit rate crit damage uh and speed is nice stats for that you can go for or, or you could also go for like a two set on like a beast monk where you don't really need attack and um yeah you don't really need attack so much but he does get benefits from critting uh, so you can go for, like, if you have a two-set, an early game for a Beast Monk. I know late game there's better sets for a Beast Monk, but, for example, for a Beast Monk for early game, uh, you can go for, like, speed, HP, and then the crit rate, and then accuracy. So if you get just good stats, uh, stats overall for that. But generally, you want a lot of attack, crit rate, crit damage. Or if you're going to do a two-set of, of uh, Blade Runes on, like, Copper Bulldozer kind of thing, um, you'd want uh, defense, crit rate, crit damage on there. But generally, you want like the, the crit rate, crit damage stats on the blade. Uh, same thing for rage, and you don't necessarily need speed all the time, depending on what uh, what you're doing with it. Um, you can go for slow, like copper bulldozers. Usually, they don't really need to be super fast because you're you're either getting hit by something and you're surviving because they're tanky. Or you're gonna uh, increase it with like immensity. If you're gonna use it with immensity, you're just gonna fully increase the attack age anyway. And it doesn't matter how much speed it had before because it's just gonna get uh, boosted to uh, max attack age uh, with immensity, right? Uh, so that's that for that. For focus, generally for focus, uh, you use this for kind of like dungeons, like PvP. Like you could use this, uh, sorry, PvE. Um, you could use this for PvP for like. Galleon for like Zyros for like two sets for that, but generally uh, you use focus for things that have a lot of debuffs, right? So again, Galleon's got debuffs on all the uh, on all of his uh, his skills. Uh, Zyros has debuffs that you really need to land, right? If you're going to do like an early game Zyros, you can use focus. A lot of times in TOA, very typical this uh, TOA sets are despair focus, right? So if you're going to do like a TOA Beretta, for example, you'd want a lot of speed, a lot of tankiness, because you don't really need too much damage for Beretta. Uh, speed, tankiness, and accuracy. So despair focus, like for Beretta, for example, speed, uh, HP, accuracy, and despair, or speed, HP, HP, or speed, HP, defense, uh, and then a despair focus, and then a lot of speed and accuracy in the stats that you want to go for on that. Uh, for like, for Zyros, for example, for arena offense, if you're going to do like uh, I mean, you could go, you go Fatal Focus for Zyros. You go Fatal Focus, you go Swift Focus, you go, uh, like, you go Swift Focus, Attack, Grid Damage, Attack, or even Speed, Grid Damage, Attack, if you can't get the, the, the amount of speed. Because everything needs to be, I'm kind of getting too far ahead of myself, aren't I? I'm kind of like, uh, uh, everything needs to be fast, right? Generally, for Focus, you want a lot of speed, accuracy in the runes. Sometimes you need crit damage and crit rate, like for Zyros, for example. Sometimes you don't need crit damage and crit rate, for example, like a uh, Beretta for uh, TOA. But you could, not just Beretta, but there's other things that you could do uh, that you don't need crit rate and crit damage for. Uh, endure, generally for Endure, you want, um, Endure is really for your cleansers, revivers, for PvE more. It's like Eladriel, like Iona, um, Annabelle, things like that. So you want a lot of speed, you want a lot of HP, you want a lot of uh, resistance. I mean, if you're going to put uh, Endure on something, it's because you want it to resist, right? So speed, HP, uh, and resistance, and defense for Endure. You just want a lot of tanky stats, fast and tanky, uh, and can withstand, like, not get CC'd or get defense broken and killed because they need to revive or cleanse or whatever. So your healers, your cleansers, your uh, revivers for Endure. For Fatal, it's very, it's, there's two different things that you are looking for for Fatal. 
Um, you are looking for either for like a Lucian, so you want like attack, crit, or Lucian, Shimite, uh, so many other just DPS units that are based on attack power. So you're looking for like attack, crit damage, crit rate, uh, and speed uh, can also, sometimes you don't need speed, sometimes you do want the speed. Um, on there again for if it's like a fat Lucian you can do fatal rage is more uh, optimal But you can do fatal uh, so you're looking for crit rate crit damage attack uh, On the fatal you can also go for a bomber for example uh, And for bombers you don't want crit rate you don't want don't look at that don't look at that pleb uh, for, uh, he's, he's out of storage because he needs to get fixed It's embarrassing but the one on Europe server is actually better for uh, Vigor because he doesn't have a good uh, set on for right now for this, but that's besides the point for fatal um, You can also use it for bombers so bombers their bombs are based on their attack power, right? So their bombers are based on their attack power. You also want good accuracy on them uh, So you're looking for things like speed attack Accuracy, but not crit rate and crit damage if you're going for fatal for your bombers, right? So here we have attack uh, We have attack we have some speed there and we have attack there and we have some accuracy, we have some tankiness and some subs. Uh, we don't need to be too crazy tanky. If you're doing a fatal bomber, you generally want to have low crit rate because you're going to be taking bombs for the most part into things like Ragdoll, Miho, things that have you would not want to crit on, right? So uh, you generally want low crit rate for those things, especially if you're going to use a bomber in TOA hard against like the Ragdoll stages or against uh, Joltons. Joltons as well, uh, Miho's as well, so um, generally I like to ruin my bombers with as little crit rate as possible. Same thing kind of with uh, Rika for TOA hard and Rika for RTA, I want to give her as little crit rate as possible, which is very different from Rika as a farmer, where I would want to, like if I'm using her attack or damage attack on Rika, the fire uh, cult girl, um, I would want more crit rate. Uh, for a farmer, right? It's two different builds for two different things, but generally like for Rika you want to, you know um, Some sometimes you want very little crit rate if the things do damage based on continuous damage or if the things do damage based on bombs, right? So anyway, let's uh, move on to the next one. Where are we? Despair. So for despair runes uh, they are generally units that have uh, AOE area of effect skills that also strippers like Proha uh, things like again uh, Beretta I was mentioning um, things that have several debuffs and possibly strips as well so generally for despair you want to have almost always there's a few situations where you don't need as much speed but almost always you want to have very high speed and good accuracy for despair you don't always need crit rate and crit damage but you generally want to have high speed and high accuracy the exception to the rule being, uh, where is he? This uh, Antares. So Antares, if you're going to do a Despair Antares, uh, you're going to want to do... He, he, he doesn't need the speed because he's getting turns with his passive, right? So he gets the turns with his passive and he doesn't need the speed and he actually doesn't need that much crit rate. So this crit rate Antares, uh, sorry, this Antares has 66% crit rate. He's going to uh, buff his own crit. Over here, uh, your attack power and critical rate will be increased for one turn. So that means he's going to get 30% more crit rate. So that's going to give him 96% crit rate effectively. So you really don't need as much speed and you can get away with 66% crit rate. And he's actually got quite a lot of crit rate after you take into uh, consideration his uh, crit rate buff, right? So you have some... Uh Still has a speed 24 on it, okay. Um, so we have here, we just have some attack and accuracy and a actually this is not even that great. I'm looking through these things. Here we go, there's no speed on this, but it's got some some beefy substats, even though it doesn't have speed. It's got some crit rate, it's got some defense, it's got some attack, it's got some crit damage. So that's not bad, but I'm looking through this Antares, man. I'm like, what? We need a much better, we could, I've, I gotta, I play around with these alts too much. I gotta, not these are. this is not an alt, this is my main. I play around with the, the alts too much and I keep thinking I have some different runes than I than I actually do. We could actually improve some of these uh, some of these different units. And I was realizing that a little bit more today. But generally for despair, uh, fast, good accuracy for the most part. Art Artemil though is another example for something that you don't need as much speed on. You can go defense, crit damage, HP, you go defense, def uh, defense, crit damage, defense with like HP and subs. 
Um, and you can get away with like having 50 speed on despair for Artemis. I, I see a lot of Artemis. I personally prefer to have higher speed than that, but I see a lot of Artemis with like 50, 60, 70 speed. Um, so anyway, so some some units you can get away with uh, lower speed on for despair, but generally a lot of speed, a lot of accuracy for vampire. So vampire actually needs a lot of uh, stats. It doesn't necessarily need an insane amount of speed. Um, but it does need good crit rate, because remember, if you're going to be using Vampire, for the most part, Skogel, I guess, would be an exception, where for Skogel Vampire, you'd want just uh, a lot of speed, HP, resistance, and defense for Vampire. Same thing kind of with um, with Ramagos, if you're going to do uh, Vampire Ramagos, because those are things based on their uh, HP. So um, for those, that's kind of a different story, but for the most part, for Vampire, if you're going to use Vampire for a Miho or a Laika or another Dragon Knight or something like that, you're gonna want a lot of crit rate, you're gonna want a lot of uh, stat rich, you're, you're gonna want a lot of uh, attack, crit damage, uh, defense, HP. There does need to be a certain amount of uh, HP and defense for Vampire because if you're too squishy, then you're just gonna die too easily. So you wanna be somewhat tanky. So it, don't discount the uh, defense and the HP that you're gonna need on vampire runes because you don't want to just like get one shot it and then that's it you want to like be able to take some damage and then steal the damage back when you hit so you need a lot of stats overall you need a lot of stat rich runes for uh vampire so generally if i put things on vampire i do consider sometimes maybe i want to go attack or damage hp or uh hp or damage h uh, HP grid damage HP with super huge attack subs maybe for a like super tanky dragon knight for example um or attack or damage attack with super tanky HP subs. So you you just want you you want a lot of tankiness, but you also want a lot of attack power as well. You just need a lot of stats overall for vampire, but you can get away with a little bit less um, le less speed. Like you don't need to have 250 uh, speed vampire units. You know what I mean? You can get away with much less speed on that. Um, violent runes. There's so many good vi if you get violent runes with good stats. You could stick it on someone because violent is so flexible that's one of the reasons that people like violent is such a big set is because i mean in a turn-based game turn advantage like getting an extra turn is huge right so um violent is just so flexible that you could put it on anyone you can put it on a cleanser in which case you would want speed hp defense and resistance you can put it on a dps unit like theomars in which case you want speed crit damage crit rate uh and attack you can put it on a unit like fran which you want uh speed hp defense attack and yeah and a little more attack like on fran annabelle and miyang because they do heals on uh heals based on attack um also but there's so many different uh, if you do it on Veligul, you want speed defense crit damage crit rate even if you're going to do a crit, a crit damage crit rate Veligul, or you can go uh, more along the tanky hp side opt for less crit damage and crit rate and just use them as a support Veligul for the uh, cleanse um so there's so many different stats that you would want on violent that like if you if it rolls good in one way or another you can find a unit that it's going to be useful for. So there's a whole lot of different units that uh, that, that would be great for. For uh, So that's one of the reasons it's so so many people craft so many violent runes, and that's like the the rune to get, right? Because it's just so flexible. That That's another reason, like, that's the best, or one of the best rune packs to get, be, if you're going to get rune packs. Because, like, if you were to get a rage rune, and it's like HP slot 2, it's like, what are you going to use a Rage Rune HP slot 2 for? That's not really something you're looking for. But it, like, has a whole lot of speed. It rolls, like, a whole lot of speed. You're like, ah, it's not really... S There's a couple things they can maybe use that. But when you think about, like, a violent HP, sl uh, HP slot 2 and how it rolls a lot of speed, like, okay, you could put that on a, uh, in a large rail, right? And it's a fine rune. So, uh, so, yeah, that's for violent. It's just so flexible. That's one of the reasons, again, one of the reasons why so many people... Uh, craft them so much and why they're such a big part of the game. Uh, nemesis runes. So nemesis runes generally you want to use for uh, healers like Praha. Um, people don't use Praha that much anymore, do they? Uh, Praha, Bella, things that like you take some damage, you take turn two, um, 
take some damage and then come back and heal or come back and turn the tides, right? So uh, Nemesis on Praha, and for that you mostly want a lot of speed and a lot of HP. Generally, for Nemesis, you want some kind of speed. I see too many people run uh, like, oh, I have a Nemesis Aerial, I have a Nemesis Praha. Even though it's kind of out of meta at this point in 2020, um, it's less relevant. I think it's more okay for like the lower levels, not really a thing anymore in higher level. Uh, for the most part, I've seen some people still use it though. Um, but regardless, for Nemesis healers, uh, you do still want a lot of speed. Because as I was going to say, um, I see so many people try to put uh, Praha and Ariel on Nemesis and they don't have enough tankiness and they don't have enough speed. You want a lot of speed and you want a lot of HP and you want a lot, you want a decent uh, defense and resistance as well. But generally for those units you want, and I've seen people use like 20, 30, 40, 50 speed on, on uh, Praha and Aerial. I'm like, no, you need like an extra hundred on that at least. Like you need like a lot more speed. You need a lot of tankiness too. Cause if something gets one shot, the Nemesis is never going to proc. So you need a lot of tankiness and you need a lot of speed for your Nemesis healers. Uh, again, for Ariel, for Praha, for uh, Juno even, uh, for Bella, uh, for things like that. If you do Nemesis on, for example, because you can do Nemesis on a Ramagos, Ramagos would basically be the same rune sets as uh, the, the same needs a lot of speed and tankiness. Uh, speed and tankiness, right? For that, if you're going to do Nemesis on Ramagas. But if you're going to do something like Nemesis Trevor, because Nemesis Trevor is also a thing, um, he takes a, he takes some damage, and then he can also he can he can basically increase his attack that he his next attack is going to do. Like I've seen Vampire Nemesis on Trevor, for example. Uh, and then you want still a lot of speed, still still a good amount of speed, um, and then crit rate, crit damage, uh, and attack. But that's just basically because you're going to want to do a lot of damage uh, after the fact. But you still want, like, tankiness on him. So Nemesis basically... Basically what I'm trying to say, for Nemesis, no matter what you do, you need tankiness and you need to be at least somewhat decently fast. Uh, it doesn't need to be 300 speed, because of course you're going to be basically taking turn 2, but you want to actually cut when you take turn 2. Instead of take damage, increase your attack gauge, but not enough to actually get the next turn. You want to get the next turn after you take damage. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, Will runes kind of like violent runes. It's so flexible that there's so many different things that will runes are, are good for. I mean, like, you can go with less speed even if you have rune efficiency for will runes. There's, it's just, no matter what stats you have, as long as you have some good stats there, as long as you have stat-rich runes, if you're, like, putting a blue will rune, that's not going to be very good. Uh, but you're, when you rune something for will, you're generally saying, like, okay, I'm going to take turn two for the like I'm expecting to that I may take turn two um, so yeah there's a lot of good again same thing with the violent there's a lot of good uh, stats that you can get on well runes uh, that you can find a use for it for shield runes there's a few different reasons you would use shield runes number one for a uh, for example for a guild war defense or arena defense you could use for example guild war defense uh, Louise leader skill Kumar and a Molong. You could use shield runes on there on like the Louise and maybe even shield runes on, well you could use shield runes on the Molong, you could use shield runes on Kumar and then you're gonna take a whole bunch of, like whatever the enemy's gonna throw at you, you're gonna be able to take some of that damage uh, and survive. So for something like that, um, you'd want to go for basically just fast and tanky, like speed, HP, defense, and resistance, those are the stats you're looking for on that. For something for dungeons, let's say shield runes for uh, twins for Necropolis, like a couple sh sets of shield on like a Shayna or like a Sabrina or something like that, like a two set of shield, right? For that, you'd want basically just the DP the same DPS runes, uh, stats that you'd look for on Rage, for example. So you'd want attack, crit damage, uh, crit rate, um, a little bit of tankiness too, right? If you're if you're just going to be running like Necropolis twins with no uh, with no healer, attack, crit rate, crit damage. A uh, little bit of speed, not anything too crazy if it's like Necropolis, because you don't need that much speed. You basically just need like plus 50 on your uh, speed if you have your tower max, I believe, uh, for there. If you're going to do shield runes on, for example, a Hraesvelg for Giants B10, or a Lauren for Giants B10, or something for dungeons, uh, basically for 
Lord, you're gonna go for speed, HP, and accuracy. It's kind of just like whatever you, whatever stats you'd want on that unit in general, and then like just find it on a shield room, right? So you just want. It's not like a super premium set, um, but you just want like whatever the unit would need normally, right? So shield runes could be good for a couple different things, um, and then also for like a shield will cleave. For example, if you're using a shield will cleave for. Galleon, right? If you're gonna do like a uh, Galleon and what else would I use for a Galleon for a shield will cleave, man? Galleon or Tiana or something like. Basically, whatever the unit, like whatever stats the unit itself would kind of need, regardless of the shield runes. I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense, but it's basically more depending on the unit specifically, because like, for example, rage runes, you're always gonna do attack, crit rate, crit damage on those for the most part, regardless, or defense, crit rate, crit damage. Uh, for shield runes, it's like, it's kind of flexible in where it is, kind of like the will and kind of like the violent, right? Um, so I want to give more information, but it's kind of like, it really kind of is a little bit more on the flexible side, just like these. Uh, for revenge runes, generally, you want to be tanky. You want to be uh, less, fast is less important on revenge runes, um, because you don't actually need turns for them to activate. Because uh, so, you're going to be basically stealing turns by revenging. But you do need to be tanky because if you get one-shotted, then the revenge is never going to activate, right? So if you do revenge runes for like, for example, for a monkey, like a wind monkey or a fire monkey, um, they can revenge and they can stun. Um, but they do need to be, they can't be like uh, 1500 HP, uh, sorry, 1500, it'd be very hard to have a six-star monkey at 1500 HP, 15,000 HP, and then they just get like one-shotted by like Miho. Like, they're getting one shot of my Miho, regardless. Uh, and then the, the revenge never activates. So, generally for revenge, at the very least, you want tankiness, right? HP, resistance, and defense uh, for those. You can use revenge on something like Darien as well, where you don't need crit rate and crit damage. For the monkeys, I like to have crit rate, crit damage, and a little bit of attack power, at least, for those. Uh, but for something like Darien, if he's going to be on revenge, because he can defense break on revenge, and he's generally a tanky unit, you could just go for, like, uh, HP, defense, and resistance, and not worry about crit rate, crit damage, and you don't really need a lot of, uh, speed either on Darien, so. Uh, so generally on revenge, you don't need as much speed, but you do want to have some tanky stats, and if it's a monkey, you want to have some tanky bruiser stats, which have, like, attack power and stuff like that also. Uh, for destroy... This is kind of more like the tanky bruiser stats for destroy, because where would you use destroy? You kind of use destroy on bruisers for guild wars, for example. Um, things like beast monks, things like monkey kings, things that are like fairly tanky, because the match is going to go on a while. Uh, so you want like HP, you want crit rate, crit damage, and a little bit of attack at the very least. Uh, you want decent, you know, decent normal speed, like not plus 20 speed, because they do still need to get turns. Um, but generally just tanky bruiser stats, like HP, because HP and defense, because the match is going to go on a while, because otherwise you wouldn't want to destroy, you wouldn't need to destroy, right? So just tanky, but like speed, HP, crit rate, crit damage, and uh, attack, but it's depending on the unit attack is more secondary, but generally for destroy, you kind of want some tankiness on there. Uh, fight runes, there's so many different things you could get on fight runes. The, there's fight runes you put on support units, you could put on DPS units as a two set, like again, kind of like the Shayna Sabrina uh, twin situation, where if you use it on a twin, you put attack, crit rate, crit damage, and um, and a little bit of speed on it, and maybe some tankiness if you're gonna use it for Rift Beasts, um, just stat rich overall. If you're gonna use fight runes, for example, for a, for a triple fight Bastet, then she just needs to be fast and a little bit of accuracy because Bastet's got uh, Bastet's got some debuffs um, and some tankiness, right? Generally for Bastet you want tanky. I mean, you don't really need to go tanky for Bastet necessarily because she's more of a cleave unit. You could go more DPS Bastet. That's kind of besides the point. Like, fight runes can be used for a lot of different things. Um, not necessarily a specific thing that you're looking for on fight. Uh, you can go for a lot of speed or you can go for a lot of rune efficiency overall. For determination... <sighs> Why do I even use determination? There's really not a lot of reasons for determination. Uh, kind of refer to the same thing as guard runes, kind of for determination. Uh, you could also put these on a two set for immensity. 
if you want a little bit of extra def uh, defense for your copper or bulldozer, something like that, you could put it on like a panda. Actually, um, these sets right here, these sets, uh, all of these, are pretty good for the fire panda and Darien for the rift beast. So just basically super, super tanky uh, is basically what you're looking for on those. And then they just give uh, your units a lot more stats overall to survive Rift Beast, to survive R5 more if you're using like a more early to mid game R5 team that's not like a BJ R5 or whatever. Um, for accuracy, this is kind of similar to the focus kind of thing. Accuracy is actually pretty good in um, Dragon's B12 now because you need a lot of accuracy. So the accuracy, and I love how it's accuracy is accuracy. Accuracy runes give you more accuracy for the whole team. But um, fast and Good accuracy is basically what you're going for on this. Uh, but you could do basically on Galleon. These work really nicely on Galleon um, or, or Spectra. You don't need a whole lot of these accuracy runes. Just go for fast crit rate, crit damage, and accuracy in, in substats. Uh, speed attack, crit rate, crit damage, accuracy is kind of what you're looking for in accuracy runes for the most part. Tolerance runes. Where would I even use? I think tolerance runes is basically just like the same thing as these for like uh, tanky stats for like... Fire Panda or Darien for frontline for uh, for raids and rift beasts. Because I don't really know too many. <laughs> I mean, I'm guilty of using tolerance more than I should just because the stats are good, but it's not really a, a super super crazy relevant um, relevant rune set overall. So just basically kind of like uh, kind of like these, the same thing, tanky for uh, for frontline R5 things that are just like meat shields that are there for being tanky and preventing the rest of your team from taking a lot of damage. That took entirely too long. You know what the, the best part about that is? Is that all the people that really need to know that information probably are not going to watch this video and they're going to continue to ask me over and over and over and over again without watching this video and the people that are probably watching the video right now you already knew that, didn't you? Most of you are already like, I already knew all this stuff. That I was just watching your video to watch your video. I wasn't even, didn't even really need to know that. But uh, maybe a couple people that need to watch for that. We didn't even get to the rune crafting yet, man. Okay, so uh, here's the deal. We're going to craft, jeez, this video is going to be so long. We're going to craft some Swift Rage Despair, uh, Violent Will and Fight. Those are the runes we're going to craft. And we're going to see what we can, uh, I guess we'll make this a little bit smaller. Uh, we'll see what we can get, uh, and if we like it, I'll be like, hey, we like it. I'm, so that has no speed, that has no stats. That's a blue, and that's a flat slot four. This is a five-star blue. Also, there have been some rumors that, uh, that rune crafting rates may go up or something in the future. There's nothing to confirm that. That's just a, we're curious if rune crafting rates are going to go up. Comptua has never said anything about rune crafting rates going up, so I'm just going to craft them now. And if they go up, they go up, and if they don't go up, then they're most likely not going to, going to go up, but we'll see maybe in the future. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going to just not craft them just because maybe they might go up. Um, so this, if it was a six star, I would, if it, if it was a six star and it had a plus six speed, honestly, I would roll this for the speed if, because you could get plus six and plus six at a six star. Uh, so then we would have the potential of having an 18 speed uh, sub. Um, but it, I, I, I wouldn't really care too much about it if it was a uh, five star or if it was a different slot. Again, all poop. Uh, you don't really want to care too much about these five. Blue, anything blue five star is basically just an insta sell. Like, if you're watching this and you have blue five star runes on your account or green five star runes on your account or white five star runes on your account, um, sell. Just, just sell them all uh, instantly. I can't think of any reason that you would want any blue five star runes. Aside from fight runes, because you could throw that on trash that needs to die. <laughs> trash that needs to die in BJR5. Um, but that's about it for that. See, this one, if you're like early to mid game, you would roll this for speed, see if you get some speed. This is my main, I'm not gonna be able to use that for anything. Um, but that you could roll for speed. You could, what would it have had four? Uh, you could get a plus six and a plus six maximum, because uh, you could roll four to six on a six star rune, so you can get a maximum of four plus six plus six, so that's uh, 35, no, four plus six plus six, uh, 14. No, four, not 14, four, uh, 16, 16, six, 16. Um, so that's, I mean, okay for like early to mid game uh, for a slot four rune. 
but uh, I can't use that for anything on here. So more poopoos, more poopoos, more poopoos. Basically, it's it's really hard to get good swift runes because you either need a lot of stats, number one, or you need um, mostly you're looking for speed, right? You're just speed chasing. So this one, you could roll uh, a five, a five. You could roll three to five, right? So you can get uh, a five, a five, a five into the speed and you can have a 20 speed sub and then you can grind, uh, you could stick a purple on that, you get 23, 24. I can't really use this, on, I hate five star runes um, and I can't really use that on my main. So we're seeing just a bunch of bummer, 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 right? So we crafted a bunch of swift and we got basically nothing. So if you guys are like, man, I can't craft anything in these rune crafts, I never get any good runes. Like, that's just how it always is, right? That's how it always is. Um, so let's go on to uh, Rage next. So here, like I said, we're uh, looking for either... Okay, so this is an attack slot two. Um, I'm sure if you're early game, this would be useful for you. Like, oh, it's Rage and it's attack. Uh, for me, it doesn't have any substats. Like the defense and the flat defense and defense percentage is basically nothing here. Um, maybe if you're early game, you could use that. But... Um, there's nothing after early game you need you need the rune to have substats instead of just like the primary stat uh, This there is actually a reason you would do a triple defense copper instead of defense crit damage defense uh, because Sometimes and I'm not sure how many people still do copper traps in uh, I, th I th Maybe Triana's at this point um, I'm not sure how how often the copper traps are a thing in super high level siege uh, or Guild Wars, but uh, but you could do that. You could do it triple defense copper to counter those copper trap um, because copper needs double his defense to uh, to actually activate his ignore defense on there. It doesn't just always activate like Lucian. Uh, it needs double the defense of your opponent. So there are people that run uh, triple coppers, uh, triple defense coppers. So here we're just looking for like a lot of crit, a lot of crit damage and either attack, power, or defense. And we're just not seeing anything. Not seeing anything. Will it be good? Oh, speed. So this is actually okay for, um, what could this be good for? This could be good for, well, I don't know why I'm looking through these. Uh, this could be good for a chimera, like a water chimera or it could be good for a uh, basically anything that does damage based on speed and you want to one-shot things. No, that's the last one I want to do to roll. But this would be okay for a water camera. This would be okay for wind camera. This would be okay for a uh, shimite. This would be okay for... Wow, 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 wow. Could you please stop right now? That's disgusting. Um, so it rolled none of the stats that I would be happy with because this is Summoner's War. Um, however, if it wasn't garbage, then it could have been okay. So this could be okay for like a, like early to mid game. Uh, actually, kind of you can still use this in mid game. Like maybe you roll, um, you could roll two speeds, and then you could use it for something for arena offense. You could. I'm not going to keep this. I'm just going to roll it a couple times to see what it rolls. You could roll two crit rates. These are some of the stats that you're looking for on rage runes. Uh, I would prefer. I mean, you, in end game, you want it to be more stat rich, but for uh, for early game or mid game, this maybe could be okay for. Again, you're going to want to replace it eventually with something else. But um, this could be okay for DPS unit because it's got speed and it's got crit rate. But you're also looking for uh, crit damage and uh, attack on there. I don't know why. So I was just rolling it to show you guys, but I don't know why it really was. <laughs> I don't know why I was rolling it. I was like, maybe it gets, like, what is it going to get? Um, but it was a, it, it's a good start, but you want some more uh, attack power and crit damage on it. But you could use it, again, like I was trying to say, you could use it as like a two set for the time being while you're waiting for something else. I know a lot of people like to keep these um, and see if it rolls quad speed. Um, I personally, I am, hate five star runes. <laughs> I'm allergic to five star runes. I break out and I start going crazy when I see five star runes. Um, we could take a look at like, we could say if it was a six star rune, this just doesn't have enough crit rate. It's got innate crit damage of 3%. It's kind of gross. Um, and it's a five star. If it was a six star, I still really, I, I still really like to have crit rate on all of my rage runes. 
there are some instances where you are looking for just like crit damage. See this, if it was a six star, that would be okay. Uh, again, for Chimera or uh, Shimite or something like that, right? Um, I don't remember what I was saying. There's, oh, there's some instances where Rage Runes are okay with not that much crit rate, um, but that's based on like, if you have a specific plan in mind of having uh, crit rate buffers. Um, so, if you have something that buffs crit rate, like for example, Immensity or Seek. See, people don't know who Seek is anymore. Uh, who else buffs crit rate? Um, Immensity or Kabezinu, the wind one, the, the horses. Wind horse, uh, water horse. Um, so if you're using those, you really only need 70% crit rate on a unit. Um, if you're not using it, then you'd want, for the most part, 100% crit rate. There's some instances where it, you don't need 100% crit rate or you, you don't even need 70% crit rate. Um, or also the self-buffing things like the, uh, the Lich, the Fire Lich. Um, this, if it was a 6-star, could be a good uh, Copper Rune. Because Copper also does a little bit of extra damage based on attack too. He does damage based on defense. But he does extra damage based on uh, extra damage if his attack power if is is like upgraded as well. Resist that's just garbage. Even at six star that'd be garbage. Even at six star legendary that'd be garbage. That resistance on rage. Resistance on rage is basically pointless. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have blue five star runes, unless they're fight runes, for the most part, <laughs> garbage. Um, if you have six star runes that are white or green, <laughs> garbage. Uh, just you don't even have to worry about like what they are for the most part. Just they're garbage um, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's any exception aside from fight runes. I Can't think of any exception where they wouldn't be they're just not good enough back in the day we kept some and well, was Years ago No, 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 uh, so this one it's a legendary, but it doesn't have crit rate. It doesn't have crit damage and it just, it's, it's got tanky stats, it doesn't have, basically, it doesn't have the stats that I wanted. The only thing that would be, you know, defense, well, great, if that had crit rate, crit damage, and the defense, and the accuracy, then I could put that on a copper bulldozer, but it, even though it's a legendary, that's not something I want to keep, because it doesn't have the stats that I need. This is, again, flat 246, the only exception being speed. Speed on 2, flat speed is great, um, but flat 246 is not what you want. So yeah, the pressing, uh, the pressing with these rage runes, because it's like you can't get anything good, man. Like rage and swift are, are kind of like pigeonholed into like rage. You need crit rate, crit damage, and some kind of other DPS source of whatever. Um, and then for swift, you're mostly looking for speed. Uh, for this one, I mean, there is an instance where you could see if this rolls quad crit damage, um, and then just grind crit rate. But I'm not keeping this. But uh, some people would keep that and, and see if it rolled quad crit damage. That's not me, though. <laughs> That's not me. Uh, the accuracy, you're, if, if, you're do, if you're doing rage, you, you're doing it to one-shot things, not to CC things, right? Um, so unless this had if, it had, if it was a legendary and it had a speed sub, I'd be like, oh, you know what? I could use this as a broken set um, and it, see if it rolls uh, quad speed. But with just the accuracy on a rage rune is generally not something that you wanna you care about because you need that you need a, a lot of damage from these rage runes. So you're just looking for as much damage as possible. Not accuracy. Don't care about accuracy because that slot is uh, basically wasted slot that could be there for uh, damage. So look at all this trash. I don't uh, did we save one? I don't think we saved one rune so far. Uh, let's go to uh, despair. So again, for despair, you want mostly speed and uh, mostly speed and accuracy, things like that. That just has no stats. A five star blue, anything five star blue again is an instant sell. Um, so we're just gonna get a whole lot of nothing, whole more lot of nothing. If it was a if it was a six star, it, it only had speed, right? If that was a six star, again, if this was a six star, it only has speed. You could see if it rolled double max speed. If it was a six star and it had a, five, uh, a six base speed and could get another two rolls, that could be 18 speed. And then you could throw a purple on that, get it to 21, 22. Uh, that wouldn't be terrible, but it just has no other stats. So eventually it would be replaced anyway. And I don't really like that. Um, 
Speed? This is garbage. Regardless of what it is, it's garbage, unfortunately. Right, because it's flat, uh, flat defense slot too. If it has flat speed, that would be a good rune. But it did not. So again, we got basically... I don't think we got basically nothing. I think we actually got nothing. So this, it has uh, six speed. I could see... We could... I know we're not gonna... I know we're not... This is... This Vigor, I gotta take him out, man. I gotta... I gotta like put the vigor back. I took him out of storage because I was like, I have to fix him and make him faster because he's so slow. Um, yeah, okay, so this, if we rolled a whole bunch of speed, we could have kept it. But uh, yeah, look at this. I'm just gonna remove it just so that I don't have to. I like that rune now. I like that rune. See, sometimes I'm, I'm guilty of using those two sets when I shouldn't be. That's really, he should be on Wilburns. He's actually better on my Europe server. Weirdly, well, he's a new project on my Europe server. I really, I don't know why I really wanted to make him good on Europe server. Um, but yeah. But he's like, uh, somewhere around the 250 range. Speed crit damage HP. Crit rate is a little low, but that could be okay when you're fighting against Mihos. So anyway, let's, uh, what else do we have? Violent? I, I, I would recommend against, uh, for the most part, against crafting two sets, right? No, no, no. Uh, no, no. I know sometimes blade could be, uh, enticing. Oh, I need some blade, some good blade runes. Or just keep farming giants. I wouldn't craft the blade runes. Because here's the thing. Um, you're gonna need, these are two sets, these are four sets. You're gonna need twice the amount of, like, if you rune, um, 20 units Rage Blade. You're gonna need twice the amount of Rage Runes as you do Blade Runes. So, the, the drop rates are the same from the dungeons regardless. So, you're gonna, it's gonna be more beneficial to craft the four sets instead of crafting the two sets. The only, uh, the only kind of exceptions to the rule, I would say, would be Will. For the most part, Will and, uh, Fight. Because Fight's not bad to craft, but, um... Let's do some Vons. These are the most exciting, uh, except that they're not going to be exciting, right? <laughs> These ones have the most potential to be a little bit on the more flexible side, if we get some good. I would love to get, like, it's okay that we failed all of those if we get some good violent crafts. Oh my god, these runes are insane, man. So this one actually could be good for a, um... What could this be good for? This could be good for like a twin. Could be good for something for a dungeon unit, right? To see how it rolls. Let's uh, let's see how it rolls. I'm not gonna keep that for here because I need more stats. But um, that could be good for a twin. That could be good for a. If it rolls speed, it could be good for like a chow for slot two, or um, the, like the. the I'm, I'm thinking about as far as like the HP, right? So they could be good for a few different uh, DPS units. You do still need speed here, though, on Violent. Because if you don't have any speed on Violent, if you don't take the first turn, you're never going to have a chance to get a second turn, a third turn, and a fourth turn, right? So, and a fifth turn, and a sixth turn, and a seventh turn. There can only be so many turns. There can't be a seventh turn. There can't be a sixth turn. So, uh, let's see what else. We would hope for speed. We would hope for a crit damage. That could also be a decent uh, Perna slot, too. Uh, I could go on several different things. What do we have down here uh, that we could put that on, for example? Please roll. I don't want to sit here. Okay. Flat attack, hooray. Well, that's where you gem in the speed, but really you don't want to gem in anything too crazy on that. Because Where'd it go? But, uh, yeah, I lost the rune now. Um... But you could put that on for example. You could put that on things for dungeons. You could put that on uh, fire and gum. You kind of want speed on. I would say you could put that on like a perna, right? You put that on a perna slot two. Uh, you could put that on like uh, this girl's for slot two over there. Look, it's kind of similar to that, right? Um, put it on what else that you want on violet? Cr, you want more speed on? Eh, mostly like dungeons, slow uh, DPS things that you, I, I say slow, not like super slow, because uh, again you need the first turn. But um, but yeah, you can put it on uh, one of those, like a Perna or a Twins kind of thing. With Theo, kind of Theo Mars, but you still, if you were gonna do without on Theo Mars, you still want the speed. Some you still need the speed somewhere. So the other runes would have to have enough speed to make up for that. 
not having speed. So you could roll this to see, I'm gonna actually, since it's a violent rune, I will do this. Uh, roll it to see if it rolls speed. Maybe it rolls like a whole bunch, maybe you get lucky and it rolls quad speed, and then you're really depressed because it's a five star rune that rolled quad speed instead of a six star rune. Maybe, I'll, maybe I will sell it. Um, this one is probably a lot of like mid game players like, oh, I'll take that, I'll take that one. Uh, this one is also for, you could use this for like uh, Monkey King, you could use this for because it's got the speed, sorry, not the speed, the HP, the crit rate, the, the attack. Um, mostly for like a tanky bruiser, right? So you could use it for a Monkey King, you could use it for um, Dragon Knights, you could use it for... You don't really need as much attack on Beast Monks. So that's why I'm saying like usually Monkey Kings for this, like Chow, things like that. Um, I'm gonna toss that because I don't need it. And I'm gonna toss it so that you guys can get on your accounts. Uh, and also you would still need to get speed somewhere in that rune though. So... If I toss it, then Comptrolls will give me a, a orange one that looks like that. Yeah. So this, nah, it's, it, it doesn't have, I was going to say you could use it, but it doesn't have enough stats. It doesn't have any stats that make sense. It's flat, five, that's like a, as bad as you can get, right? As bad, okay, that, no, that one, that rune was as bad as you can get. No, this rune was as bad, they're all as bad as you can get. Uh, let's see if we get anything usable. Still no, I mean, crit damage and defense, but you still want uh, crit rate and speed or HP in there somewhere for like a Tyrannus or a, uh, a Belly or something. I know a lot of you would roll this to see if it rolls speed. Uh, I'm gonna toss that back into the, the lake for you guys to fish out uh, next time you're farming dragons. How's that? Whole bunch of not anything. Uh, so this one could be interesting if it was a six star I Would keep it and I would be like we'll make this work Well, hopefully it hopefully it wouldn't go accuracy wouldn't roll into accuracy and then we could put this on like a tanky bruiser like a Again like a tanky bruiser like some of the ones that I mentioned before but I can't use this I, I can't use five star runes on this account there's No, there, there's no way that there just doesn't have any stats. But you would still want, like, crit rate and speed on that rune, though. That's that's the things that's missing. I find that generally, the stats that we always try to hunt for, that we never have enough of, is speed and crit rate. And then as soon as the, your opponent pulls out a Miho, it's like, man, I wish I had less crit rate. <laughs> and then as soon as your opponent pulls out a Leo, you're like, man, I didn't need as much speed as I tried to hunt for, did I? Can we get uh, one rune? Oh, technically we got one rune because I couldn't find it and after I upgraded it and was ready to sell it. But, uh, yep. It's not just you that has terrible rune drop rates. It's everyone. So this one, it just, it's attack, but it doesn't have speed, it doesn't have crit rate, it doesn't have crit damage. So it's got HP, but it's really not worth... I know it's maybe tempting to some of you, but it's really not worth upgrading. It would, like, need speed. So this one, again, kind of needs... Like, Violent needs speed. You need to get some turns to begin with. Um, that just doesn't have any stats. Uh, but you, but basically, you just need some speed. But you, you can't use Violent Runes with no speed, unless... Unless it's for like a few, like a cut, like again, like Leo, right? I'm sure there's more that you could use uh, Violent Runes and No Speed. Crit damage, right? You get excited about crit damage. Like some of you may be like, ooh, I would keep that. Crit damage, I would keep the HP. Uh, slot four, uh, sorry, slot six. Uh, even if it doesn't have speed. But this, uh, it's got crit damage, it's got no speed, it's got no crit rate. Which, if you're running crit damage on slot four, you need crit rate. And it has no tankiness, it has no attack. If it had enough speed and crit rate, the tankiness and attack would be okay to like, like for example, if it had 22 speed and like, and like 12 crit rate or something like that, um, and it had two flat stats, I'd be like, that's fine. <laughs> I'll gem and grind those flat stats to 22 speed and 12% uh, crit rate. I'm fine with that. So, uh, I think we're gonna wind up with zero runes actually. Feels good. If this was a if this was a six star, I would roll it to see if it rolled. Did we keep one of the? Oh, I did keep I did keep one of the. We're gonna toss that anyway. But uh, let's do some will runes. It's basically gonna be the same situation. 
It's five star, five star, five star blue. Crit rate. What would I, could I even use this for anything? Could I find a use for it? No, so my instinct tells me to sell this, but I'm trying to like find something that maybe it could be useful for. I'm thinking like a Diana or a Vertigo, but I'm like that they they still need speed, they still need more stats like HP. So there's still I can't even like say that you would use that for that, right? It's the beauty of this game. The beauty of this game is nobody will get runes ever, unless rune packs, unless and even so. You're still not gonna get runes from rune packs. This again, you could roll it for speed. You could get a quad speed. I know some people are triggered by uh, me not even seeing if that was gonna be a quad speed. This is again, blue five star runes. I have no use for blue five star runes, and you shouldn't either. You should not be keeping blue five star runes. You should be, be you're you're better than that. They're like, no, I should be better than it, but I'm not better than. No, you are better than blue five star runes. So this one crit damage. Um, so this actually could be okay for a Bailiger 4 R5. So let's take a look at how this rolls. If you're doing Rage Will, what is this? Oh, apparently, apparently there's another one on here. Uh, so you could see if this rolls max attack. It could roll, let's, before we upgrade it more, it could roll uh, another 8 and another 8 onto attack. And that would be uh, 24 attack, and then you could put a uh, grind on that and make it 34 attack. So that'd be a lot of damage output for a Bailiger for R5. And it didn't get attack, and this is how you sell runes. It's just a nice uh, explanation. There we go. So again, this one could be uh, this could be not 24, but this could be a 22. And we have a little a little bit of crit rate at least. Uh, and if you're using a couple crit rate leader skills, then... See? It did get a max roll into crit rate. I mean, uh, attack power. <sighs> did get max roll into attack power. So we'll see if it gets another one into... 21! So, this is exactly why. Exactly why. So this could be a decent rune for... I don't know what I'm going to use this for. I... I already have a big <laughs> for R5. But you could use this for, like, a DPS unit. You could use this for, um... What other DPS units would I use this for? I don't even know if we have any grinds for this. But, we would still hope for speed and defense for the most part on this. Oh my god. Flat attack wouldn't be bad on here. Uh, one of the weird things is sometimes you're like, you get the uh, grinds and gems for flat attack and you're like, what am I gonna do with flat attack? I hate flat attack. Flat attack on Lucians uh, and Bailigers and Odins and things like that. That adds up, man. It really does. So this is uh, this is weirdly enough, it's a blue rune, but it's actually uh, it's actually usable, right? So we can actually use that, um, even though it's blue. But that's a good example of sometimes blue uh, blue six star runes are actually usable if the stats and the subs actually make sense. Uh, yeah, let's go a little bit more with Will, and then we'll switch to fight rune. There's like five fight runes to craft. Oh my god, man! This room takes uh, this. Uh, this video took so long. So that one, if it was six star, I know it only had defense and crit damage. But if that one was um, was a six star rune, that could have been okay for a will for a copper bulldozer. A lot of people like to do will on copper bulldozer. Depending, I I don't know what I have. I think I have some that are on will and some that aren't on will because I have a few of both so depending on if i'm using them with a message or not this one you could also roll see if it rolls speed because uh speed is king and if it rolls triple roll into speed that's a different story than uh you know but i, st I still don't like to keep those i still don't like to keep those this one you could use maybe if it rolls uh, a couple speed you could find use for that this one, okay. I hate that I'm. I hate that I'm gonna even roll this, man. Cause to me, it looks so gross. But um, cause it's got like only one stat. If it rolls double crit damage. If it rolls double crit damage, but it has like no other redeeming qualities aside from that. So it rolled. It rolled a max roll of the crit damage. Uh, max roll of the crit damage is seven percent. And there's no way. There's no grind for it, but uh, cause you can't grind crit damage. 
So we so we got a we got an uh, five. Honestly, I my instinct tells me to just sell this, but uh, I really don't want to keep that. It's such a growth like stat wise, you can use it, right? You can use it for a DPS unit. I'm probably not gonna put that on anyone ever at any point, <laughs> but. I know, I know some people like, oh, I could use that for this, I could use that for that, I use it for, basically for whatever, like a Lucian, if you're going to put your fat Lucian on Will, um, or for a uh, Bailier for R5. And again, I already have a Bailier for R5, so I kind of just want to sell that. And this is no speed, so we're going to sell this too. I see that blue rune there. What are, you, what are you doing, blue rune? What are you doing with yourself? I'm going to sell this. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But you could use it. I just know that I'm not going to. I know it's just going to sit in my inventory. I'm going to be like, no, I don't like that rune. So, because I already, I already have runes that look like that. Or look like that, but have more stats. So I don't really need that. So we, let's do uh, let's do some fight runes. Uh, I mean, you could kind of see if you roll that speed from mid-game, but... Again, there's really nothing that I nothing that I like on here. You could see if that rolls speed. I know a lot of people would uh, see if that rolls speed. Because, you know, there's no harm in... I mean, it costs some mana, but there's really... Aside from that, mana's easy to get. Um, I, I'll, I'll keep that, but... I really don't want to. I really don't want to. Again, more things that you see if they roll speed. Let's do some fight runes after this, though. Because... If we get a triple roll into here, it could be 22 before a gem, right? And it's a will root. Uh, sorry, before a grind. Uh, then we then we gem over the 22 speed. Yeah, this is already garbage. So the first sign of uh, weakness is uh, we cut it loose. So we effectively got the one rune was was there somewhere. Right, one rune was there. Ooh, actually, I think we can do some of these. Well, we can't do two of them anymore, but we can do one of these. Let's see what we get here. Nice. Not really. Eh, we'll keep that, I guess. We'll do uh, more fight runes. Yeah, we'll do more fight runes. Right, one, one more fight rune. Okay, we'll go back to violence then. Go back to violence. Can we get one one rune? I'm just I I want that that uh, that will rune doesn't the blue will rune doesn't count as a rune that I'm happy with. I just want one <laughs> one rune from this crafting session. Oh my god, man! I, one, just give me. Okay, maybe we'll see if that rolls speed. We'll use it on something. I always feel bad rolling like. Um, Defense slot four, like if it gets good speed, because I'm like, what am I gonna use this on? Accuracy. Uh, I, I, maybe I'll find a use for that, right? It's a violent. It's got the. Uh, it's got accuracy. It doesn't have any speed though. I would be excited if that had speed. And generally, accuracy. I don't care if it's an accuracy rune uh, slot six. I generally don't care if it has crit, rate, crit damage because. If it's got crit rate and crit damage, I want to put it on a DPS unit. Speed crit rate, uh, eh, we'll, we'll roll that, we'll see how we do. That's uh, not good enough. I know some people would keep that, but it just doesn't have any speed. And you do need speed on Violent Runes to actually start taking turns. Unless Leo. Unless, but it didn't have enough stats just overall. So we have here. I mean, this has some stats. I wonder if I could make that useful. I think I have another one that looks just like that. And I'm like, eh, I could make that, uh, I could do something with that. And then I never did. But I always feel when I get those, I'm like, it's got stats. I can make something happen with this. Okay, so this one is actually not a bad uh, Theo Mars rune, for example. We could uh, take a look at that. We could see how it rolls. Um, but I know a lot of people have Theo Mars, and they like to use Theo Mars. What other runes do we even keep? So we see if that rolls, and then we, we would do a... We, we want... So this is a max roll into crit damage. It's a max roll into attack. Um, we're hoping to dodge defense. It's going to roll defense now. Yep. I know this game. As soon as you get something that may be useful... Maybe. So this basically just turned into a blue rune right now. Um, fantastic. So, again... 
So it's one off for a max roll on to uh, attack. That's not terrible. So we would look for crit rate on here and then uh, either accuracy or HP are the things that I would look for uh, to grind on top of that. Please don't roll defense again. Please give me like 14 crit damage. 21. That's a six roll? Yeah, six roll. Okay, so again, it's kind of like a Theomars rune or a... Uh, my brain just keeps going to Theomars. Theomars or like a Fire Nagami or like a Yen uh, or something like, wow, it is a disappointing rune. Uh, I don't know that I'm really gonna use that for anything now, but I was hoping for like either crit rate or, um, or accuracy or HP, like one of those. This way I could take that flat defense and make it, but then it turns into a blue rune at that point, so. Is there anything? I can get 18. I'm gonna sell this. Yeah, I'm gonna sell this. Um, but that 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 could be okay. Where's the other room? Why? Where am I? Where are these rooms go? Why am I losing? Oh, I don't want to keep. Uh, I don't know what I want to do with that room actually. I don't know if I want to. Figure some because again I have a rune that looks like that and I'm like I can make this work and I can make this I put this on something because it's got stats. I'm like I <sighs> low roll into crit rate. We need a few runes into a uh, few rolls into speed. We got no rolls into speed. Uh, maybe I'll pick that up at some point and care about it at some point later. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> let's finish it off. I don't think we're going to get anything uh, anything exciting. I have to find those other runes, too. So, I mean, this this could roll speed, but I'm not... It just doesn't have enough stats. That could roll speed, but it doesn't have enough stats for me. Again, not enough stats. Not enough stats. Even those... That... that uh, Again, see, this is the same thing. It's like it's got stats, and I like I I want to keep it because I'm like, it's got stats. It's a legendary, but what am I gonna do with it, right? Make something happen, like no, I'm probably not. It's just gonna sit there. It's gonna sit there in my inventory for like several years until I'm like, you know what? I can. There's a new monster that just came out that needs all those stats and no speed. And also no crit rate. <laughs> I don't know what monster. It have to be like a Leo Miang hybrid. But it's got no speed. That's the thing. Yeah, I think we're gonna. I think this is gonna be a zero fun session. God, man, it's so late already. How is it so late? I think we have, uh, how many more? Can we just get one? Can, can we get one that I'm happy with? One that I'm happy with. No, one that I'm happy with. That's not one. That's not one. That's not one. See, again, this is like, this would be great if this was a six star rune, right? Because it's got crit rate, it's got crit damage, it's got speed. This would be a great twins rune if it was a six star rune. Be a, it would be a good Perna rune too, right? Same thing like with the Shayna, Sabrina, Talia, whatever. You want to put them on uh, Violent um, or Perna. Or Theo Mars, right? Because it had speed too. But, uh, yep. This is real. This is really gonna be a zero, zero. Cause I mean, we kept some. That's not like things that, like I, I'm just keeping them because I'm like I feel bad selling them, but I don't know what exactly is gonna go on <laughs> at any point, uh, anytime soon. I really was hoping that I was gonna be like get something from this entire session. Nope. Back to. Uh Back to dragons. Anyway, uh, that's it for this one. 
really depressing runecrafting session, man. Um, that's it for this one. Hopefully at least the first part helped some people with uh, deciding what runes they want to keep, what runes they want to sell potentially. Um, explaining some of the stats that you're looking for on some of the different runes. But anyway, uh, like I said, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Way too long as usual, but uh, you can't craft runes 10 at a time, man. Anyway, that's it. I will see you as always in the next one.